Uh, I'm, I'm very happy to be back in Sofia and to be part of this now already traditional Wagner festival here. And uh, last year I conducted six, ti six titles, which was really a challenge. And now it's only one title, but it's a new production. So it's again a big challenge for the, the theater, for the opera house, for all participants. And um, it's, it, it's one of the most difficult choir parts in all opera literature. So the choir is really doing a very good job. They worked for months to study and to prepare and I'm, I'm very happy with the result and also the singers were working hard and long and some of them part, uh, participate in different operas also in the ring so it's re really the, and this is very difficult to sing Siegfried and Lohengrin for instance at the nearly in the same time or singing Sieglinde and Elsa and Gudrune as our Tretana yeah. does so this is a big challenge but I, I I'm very positive now uh, after the general rehearsal yesterday uh, that it, we will have a great performance tomorrow and a great premiere. Lohengrin for a conductor is, is difficult but not as um, exhausting maybe as the ring, I mean as Götterdämmerung or also Tristan is much more exhausting. The music is three hours and a half so it's, it's still long but it's shorter. <laughs> and also there are moments where you can a bit relax or just let it the music flow as in act two for instance the procession but actually it's it's not quite true because um, in, in Wagner's music you always ha have to have uh, um, really uh, you have to be very much awake and alert and to in every moment you have to lead the whole thing as a conductor. It's not like co accompanying an aria by Bellini and just follow the singer, that doesn't work. If I follow the singer in Wagner's music, the music um, it's uh, like um, collapsing the phrases because the phrases are so long and so complicated and you have to really give it the structure as the conductor and the singers need to adjust and to follow. It's much, it's a very different style actually. And uh, Lohengrin, uh, Lohengrin is one of my favorite Wagner operas and uh, it, it was the first one I fell in love with at the age of I think 11 or so. And I was absolutely fascinated by this spherical sound of this grail music, the, the prelude. I think the prelude is one of the most beautiful music pieces ever written and for sure one of the best things Wagner wrote at all in all his oeuvre this nine and a half minutes this is just perfect it's it's so beautiful and it describes so wonderfully this uh, yeah what Wagner imagined to be the holy grail like like, uh, like um, giving giving comfort and uh, uh, strength to people with the help of the divine uh, a divine source to to uh, um, receive and and this is beautifully written and uh, starting very softly and tenderly and then make this big culmination point when it's really like overwhelming and i i think also the picture uh, Laman Cartalo found for the, on stage what happens in that moment is very beautiful because he has a reference to Parsifal Parsifal is the father of Lohengrin but of course Wagner wrote Lohengrin much earlier than the opera Parsifal so it's a bit ambivalent anachronistic uh, connection but it's very beautiful because uh, yeah it's very imaginative and as usual beautiful pictures and I'm really looking forward to that I'm, I'm sure the audience will love it it's I don't know how to say it's in in one piece there are no stops for yeah. clapping for the audience but yes there are duets and there are kind of arias and the big ensembles like concertato we have in, in Verdi's operas in act two and finale of act one it's much more Italian and also the way of uh, the, the, how the he wrote for the voices it's more Italian way so I think the audience who is who loves the Italian music and I think in Bulgaria this is the core repertoire Italian music and I'm sure the audience will be surprised that those who know only the later Wagner and will now listen to a long thing they will be uh, happily surprised I'm sure how easy to receive it yeah. it's now 
nine years, more than nine years that I come here. The first time was in 2015 for Tristan and Isolde. Tristan and Isolde I haven't done by that time yet. Uh, and this was uh, still with uh, Maestro Trimborn, Richard Trimborn, who was kind of a teacher of mine and he was working already several years before for the ring, for the first ring cycle and then we also did together Parsifal here in 2017 and so I have a very emotional bond to this uh, theater and to Plum and Kartalov we work, collaborate very well together and uh, uh, say, uh, appreciate our, each other's work very highly. Yeah, it's very important for me still to come back and also to let me put it, harvest some fruits we, because we, with the orchestra, when I first was here, the orchestra was not as capable to play Wagner's music on this high level as they do it now. So there is a huge development and I'm very proud also to say that's because of our very close collaboration and I'm very happy we achieved this positive result together. Wagner is always, I mean, you, is always worth coming and listening and, and to maybe also to uh, to, I, I call it to receive because it, it's like uh, you can sit down and, and watch and you can focus on your central uh, impressions and perceive it and and it's like also like like a meditation even if it's sometimes brutal and many conflicts you see on stage but still there is always a solution I mean, Lohengrin not quite as, there is no redemption in Lohengrin. It's actually the only opera with a tragic ending. The other operas, people die maybe, yes, but there is a solution in, in, in terms of redemption and uh, catharsis. So, and this is actually what I think is very important uh, in arts general, this cathartic element. And, and this is a great possibility to receive this and to experience together in a, in a community who, which loves Wagner or music in general and art. I think theatre is, is, it can heal also wounds or if you are sad, and it's just uh, uplifting and that's what I think is a main, uh, main uh, task of our, the, the artist or I mean the main character, characteristic of art itself and music.